Hi Otsumin Gardeners, welcome back to the Otsumin Gardening channel. My name is Imenio Arcebo, known as the Otsumin Gardener. Come join me in growing generations by generations. So Otsumin Gardeners, in today's exciting spreading video, we're going to be talking about apple trees. Apple trees is a fun fruit tree to have in your backyard because it sets apples and it's super fun to see it grow over the seasons. I have a golden doors and apple tree here for the fast growing trees and actually the first year when they sent it out for me it produced apples literally a few weeks before blooming or after blooming but we've had some flower buds and flower sets all year round but never more apples and I know it's a bit different because here in South Florida apple trees are nowhere to be found and so we want to grow our own fruit but it's fluctuating for us and so i'm gonna be going going over pruning fertilizing and watering with you guys to see if my apple tree could bounce back from its complete delay and give me some apples i know some websites have been saying it's not so fertile some have been saying it's fertile which self-fertile means that it doesn't need another apple tree to set fruit and not so fertile means it needs another apple tree to set fruit my apple tree here it's like a bit confusing because fast growing trees is stating that this is not so fertile but how did it give me fruit the first year because not from what i know of this entire neighborhood does not own an apple tree i'm the only one with one who knows if one does actually have it and they actually pollinate it so i don't quite know and so i'm gonna be considering all the knowledge i know behind apple trees apply it on mines and i'm gonna report back to you guys with the part two and see if it gave us apples, if not, then I'll have to purchase an entire different other tree in order to get apples. So let's go ahead and jump right to the first section. So to my gardeners, now we're gonna talk about our first topic, which is pruning. Pruning allows the apple tree to focus more uh, energy towards setting fruit and flower and less on foliage. So there's three stems you wanna look for when it comes to pruning your apple tree. Number one, you wanna look for stragglers. Stragglers will usually be connected to the base of the tree. You wanna remove those by completely because you don't want any diseases to build up. You want perfect airflow to go through so you can prevent any diseases. For example, we have one straggler right here, right here, you can see it's connected to the base. And so I want to remove this one to allow more airflow to go in and out of the tree. So I'm going to go ahead and take my pruners and go at the base of the tree. And we're going to go ahead and cut it like so. And that is already out. The next thing you want to look for is last year's new growth. You wanna take those back by a third because that allows the stems to grow more stronger and sturdier and allow more fruit to hang off of them. For example, right here, we have one set of new leaf that came out from last year's growth. And so we're gonna take it out by a third. So here is one third, another third, another third. So we're gonna cut technically the top part out like so. Usually you would like to cut your trees during the winter time so you don't risk any uh, losing any flowers or fruit. But mine technically is not setting fruit because the flowers are way too small. Next, you wanna remove any visible disease stems because you don't want it to spread all around your apple tree and end off killing it. So you wanna take those out. For example, here I have a little actual straggler here that is actually diseased with blight. So let me take off a leaf and show you. So here you could see clear disease right here. This looks like early blight. So you want to go ahead and take that off completely to prevent any diseases. So I'm gonna go ahead and prune my entire tree and then we'll be right back with you. So to my gardeners, as you can see, we took the tree out by a third. So as you can see, the only thing you can see is the new growth from this year and the new flowers as well. Don't be worried if your tree ends up to look like this. This is better for the tree so it could grow more bigger, set bigger fruit, and it could store more energy into the next following up fruit season. So the best thing you could provide for your tree is the best care. So now we're gonna be talking about the entire care of this apple tree. Number one, you do want to set in a location where it receives six plus hours of direct sunlight. Apple trees and any other fruit trees need more sunlight than any other plant because they are the ones that are working the most in the garden. 
they are the ones that need more food they need the ones that are working harder to produce your amazing fruit that you eat so set them in a full sun location in order for them to produce great and look amazing for you number two you want to go ahead and locate it in an area where you could hill it upwards so no water can settle at the base at the tree because if water settles at the base at the tree it can rot that crown of the tree and it can end up uh, opening that to any fungal diseases any diseases to take over your tree and you don't want that to happen so you want to that to prevent that from a full 100 percent number three you want to stay on top of pruning i know pruning is going to be very hard to do because you're going to have this luscious tree and you're going to take it by by a third and it's going to look technically naked don't feel bad if that's the best method so you want to stay pruning on it for every late winter season so before spring season is around the corner prune up your trees and allow them to start storing energy for that year's growth number four you want to go ahead and fertilize which we're going to talk about more detail about that in a little while fertilizing you want to fertilize once a month or based on the fertilizer you have i am going to be using citrus tone which is able to work for three to four months so i'm going to be applying this every three months so my tree could stay fertilized and fed and it could give me the best apples forever number five you want to stay on top of pests so for example aphids early blight white fly you want to all take care of that with an all organic neem oil and if you have that uh, problem brewing at the point where you want to prune it back prune those stems back by completely and toss them out you do not want to store that or any of these clippings you don't want to keep them in a compost or you don't want to put them in the ground because that will open up the more opportunities for the diseases to spread so throw them out in the trash and completely decompose them of any matter away from your garden completely so now let's go ahead and move on to the last and final section which we're going to go talk more into depth about fertilizing so let's go ahead and position the camera towards the base of the tree and let me show you how to properly fertilize so to main gardeners here's the fertilizer i'm going to be using i've been i've been using this forever and so let me go ahead and talk to you guys about fertilizing so the thing you want to do is you want to scrape off the first surface level of the tree you want to scrape that off right here to open up more opportunities for the fertilizer to be activated so you want to go ahead and get a handful of this fertilizer and apply it around the circumference of the tree prevent from actually putting it at the base of the tree because that will not be so good for the tree so at least keep it on this on the root circulation of the tree like so and then once you have that you're going to go ahead and ruffle it in the soil surface and then you're going to top dress it back up with the soil you scraped off and then you want to go ahead and water it in real well so the fertilizer could be activated immediately and your tree could be happy as is so let's go ahead and wrap up this video so it's some gardeners that's going to be it for this exciting sprouting video once again in this video i talked about how to fertilize prune and care for your apple tree hopefully you guys found something new and informative about this video because i really enjoyed doing it so thank you all so much for watching this video if you learned something new please leave a like down below and while you're down there please consider subscribing to show your amazing support towards the ultimate gardening channel and please share with your friends and families to help other generations learn where the food comes from but not only that learn how to grow it thank you all so much for watching this video and never forget to grow big ultimate gardeners bye guys